CIG TV News Update, I'm Donna Bush. Thanks for joining us this Friday evening, as always. Premier the Honorable Alden McLaughlin was the keynote speaker at the annual Chamber of Commerce luncheon held this week. The event provided the chance for chamber members to meet with elected officials and have dialogue on various issues. In his address, Premier McLaughlin talked about the Cayman Islands economy and its two main pillars. Our economy is based on the twin pillars of tourism and financial services. And although we are determined to diversify, it is generally accepted that they will remain as the bedrock of growth for years to come. At least they will if we continue to work to support them. Tourism remains strong with record arrivals in 2017 of over 418,000 stayover visitors and 1.7 million cruise passengers. And 2018 is expected to be even better because of private sector-led growth. It is about large multinational corporations and small businesses taking risks and investing. It is about Caymanians and expatriates working together for mutual benefit. It is about a private sector that welcomes and values the support of government. In that context, I applaud the work of the Honorable Deputy Premier and the teams in the Ministry and Department of Tourism for the support they give to enable that success. Meantime, the legislative luncheon is one of several events which enables the uh, Chamber of Commerce to achieve the goal of its vision statement each year. In other news, the way in which staff of the Health Services Authority diagnosed and handled a life-saving operation on one of its smallest patients has a visiting family singing high praises for the facility. So I've been coming to Cayman for the past 10 years, but before that I was the CEO of the public hospital in Boston, it's called Boston Medical Center, and it really is the counterpart of this hospital. And as soon as I walked in here, I knew this was a quality institution. I could feel it, I could feel it in the vibe of the hospital, I could see it in the faces of the people who work here, and it's an A+. Now, the Yulian family was on vacation when they took their seven-month-old to the emergency room. Staff in A&E made the diagnosis, which uh, then led to the first-ever revolutionary procedure performed at the HSA by Dr. Zoltan Sooks. Well, if you missed today's news update, you can go to the Cayman Islands Government Facebook page or the CIG Television YouTube channel. For now, I'm Donna Bush, as always, thanking you for joining me this week, hoping you'll do the same again next week. But until then... Have a safe and wonderful holiday weekend. Bye-bye for now.